going to go over transistor logic for today's um, quiz number two. And uh, here, sorry, I can't focus. Sorry, I'm recording from my phone. So here you have this a switch. And this uh, lecture started saying that this switch works as an AND gate. So if B is down so it's if it's on that means that it's passing a logic one then it would the output of y on y would depend on the value of a so if b equals to one and a equals zero y would be zero but then if b is equal to zero it doesn't matter the value of a y is still going to be zero why? Because in the truth table for um, an AND expression looks like this. True, true equals true. False times true equals false. True times false equals false. True false times false equals and false equals false. Yeah. So unless both of them are passing a logic one, Y is going to be one. And so that translates into this, which is an NMOS transistor. So A and B equals Y. And now that transfers into this. A and B equals to Y plus A and bar B. Um, so it would be Y equals A and B plus A and bar B. This sounds kind of confusing, but over here it's a little bit clearer. So if you see this schematic that I pulled out of one of his slides, um, says that um, A times B is the same as B. I mean, A and B plus B and b bar all of that is going to be equal to a b y well if we write it out we can see that y equals a and b so a b plus b and b bar and then this goes away to zero why because if you look at the cheat sheet that i provided on the far right bottom corner with the I think it is the one two three four five six uh, seven property number seven on the cheat sheet says that when you have something and that something bar that goes away to zero so that's why you get here y equals a b from all of this Okay, and now to recycle my B and my B bar, I put it together with this one. And so now you get A bar and B. So you would get something like this. Um, right here. A bar, A bar and B plus, which because it's in parallel right here, right? So B bar plus B bar, okay? So you would get this, and this simplifies into this. Well, how would you just use the Boolean um, properties that I sent you on the cheat sheet? And you will be able to do it yourself. Here's the properties, okay? So here is the breakdown of the algebra. Um, so you have A bar and B plus B bar and B bar, right? And one of the properties that I sent to you says that um, it's actually called So you can read it there. That's why it's called the property. That's what makes this go away to b bar only okay 
sorry I'm not saying the name of the property I just don't feel comfortable with that so now I have a bar plus b from the previous step plus b bar and now I have this expression right which looks pretty similar to this one right here right so two variables here two variables one single variable over here one single variable so now this transforms into this going from here to here right so let's go step by step b bar times plus b is one parenthesis and then b bar plus a bar is one parenthesis so both parentheses are multiplying here and now here you are left with a bar plus b bar why? Because another one of our properties says that b bar plus b, or like something plus that something bar equals to 1, and that identity is called uh, that's an n. So thanks to this property right here, which is in your cheat sheet, this goes away to 1. Okay, and that's it for past transistors for now. I will be making another video to go into conversions.